animal kingdom. When you look around, you will observe different animals with different structure and form as over a million species of animal have been been described till now. The need for classification becomes all the more important. The classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species. The basis of classification. In spite of differences in structure and form of different animals, there are fundamental features common to various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cells, body symmetry, nature of xylem, pattern of digestive, circulatory and reproductive system. These features are used as the basis of animal classification and some of them are discussed here. Levels of organization. The all members of animalia are multicellular. All of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells. For example, in sponges, the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates. That is, they exhibit cellular level of organization. Some division of labor activities occur among the cells. In cylinders, the arrangement of cells is more complex. Here, the cell performing the same function as are arranged into tissues. Hence, is called tissue level of organization. A still higher level of organization, that is organ level, is exhibited by members of platyhelminthes and other higher phyla, where tissue are grouped together to form organs, each specialized for a particular function. In animals like annelids, arthropods, mollusks, echinoderms, and chordates, organs have associated to form functional systems, each system concerned with a specific physiological function. This pattern is called organ system level of organization. Organ system in different group of animals exhibit various pattern of complexities. For example, the digestive system in platyhelminthes has only a single opening in to the out of the body that serves as both mouth and anus and is hence called incomplete. A complete digestive system has two opening, mouth and anus. Similarly, the circulatory system may be of two types. Number one, open type, in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cell and tissue are directly bathed in it. And the second is closed type, in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameter artery, veins and capillaries. Symmetry Animal can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical. That is, any plant that passes through the center does not divide it into equal halves. When any plant passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves, it is called radial symmetry. Cylindrids, tenophores, and echinoderms have this kind of body plan. Animals like annelids, arthropods, etc., where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane, exhibit bilateral symmetry. Diploblastic and triploblastic organisms. Animal in which the cell are arranged in two embryonic layer, an external ectoderm and internal endoderm are called diploblastic animal. Example, cylindrids. An undifferentiated layer is mesoglia is present in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Those animal in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer mesoderm 
in between the ectoderm and endoderm are called diploblastic animal like lady hanman these two chordates coelom presence or absence of cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification the body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called coelom animal possessing coelom are called coelomates example alligators mollusca arthropods echinoderms hemichordates and chordates in some animal body cavity is not lined by mesoderm instead the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm such a body cavity is called pseudocoelom and the animal possessing them are called pseudocoelomate example ascelmanthes the animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acelomate that is example platyhelminthes segmentation in some animal body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs for example in earthworm the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation and the pheno phenomenon known as metamerism <coughs> notochords notochord is a mesodermally derived rod like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals animals which notochords are called chordates and those animal which do not form this structure called non chordates example porifera to echinoderms classification of animal the board classification of animalia based on common fundamental feature as mentioned in the preceding section in given figure 4.4 important characteristic feature of different phyla and describe phylum porifera member of this phylum are commonly known as sponges they are generally marine or mostly asymmetric animals these are primitive multicellular animals and have a cellular level organization sponges have a water transport or canal system water enter through minute pores is called ostia in the body wall into a central cavity sponjocele from water it goes out through the osculum this pathway of water transport is helpful in food gestation respiration exchange and removal of waste coenocytes or collar cells line the sponjocele and the canals digestion is intracellular body is supported by a skeletal made up of spicules or sponsin fiber sexes are not separated that mean hermaphrodites that is egg and sperm are produced by the same individual sponges reproduce asexually by a fragmentation and sexually by a formation of gametes fertilization is internal and development is indirect having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult example cycon cypha spongilla freshwater sponges and you spongia bath sponges phylum celentata ya cnidaria there are they are aquatic mostly marine sensile 
of free swimming radially symmetrical animal the name nidaria is derived from the nidoblasts and nidocytes which contain the stinging capsule or nematocytes present on the tentacles and the body nidoblasts are used for and craze defense and for the capture of prey nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization are diploblastic they have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening mouth on hypostome digestion is extracellular and intracellular some of the nidarians that is corals have a skeletal composed of calcium carbonate nidarians exhibits two basic body form called polyp and medusa the former is a sensile and cylindrical form like hydra adamsia etc whereas the latter is umbrella shaped and free swimming like aurelia zelifis those nidarians which exhibit in both form exhibit alternation of generation that is called metagenesis that is polyps produce medusa asexually and medusa form polyps sexually example obelia example of cilantrids physelia adamsia panicula gorgonia meandrina phylum tenophora tenophores commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies are exclusively marine radially symmetrical diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization the body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion digestion is both extracellular and intracellular bioluminescence the property of a living organism to emit light is well marked in tenophores sexes are not separate reproduction takes place by only sexual means fertilization is external with indirect development example tiro brachia and tino plana phylum platyhelminthes they have dorso ventrally flattened body hence a called flat worm these are mostly endoparasites found in animal including human being flat worm are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and acelomate animals with organ level of organization hook and sucker are present in the parasitic form some of them absorb nutrition from the host directly through their body surface a specialized cell called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion sexes are not separate fertilization is internal and development through many larval stages some members like planaria possess high regeneration capacity example tinea and it form and fasciola liver fluke phylum askehelminthes the body of askehelminthes is circular in cross sections has the name round worms they may be free living aquatic and terrestrial 
or parasitic in plant and animals. Roundworm have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical. Triploblastic and pseudocoelomate animals. Elementary canal is complete with a well developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body waste from the body cavity. Through the excretory pores, sexes are separate diaceous. That is, male and female are distinct. Often, female are longer than male. Fertilization is internal and development may be direct. The young one resembles the adult or indirect. Example, Ascaris roundworm, which is area, filaria worm, and encyclostoma hookworm, phylum annelida. They may be aquatic, marine, freshwater, or terrestrial, free living, and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented, and coelomate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metamers, and hence the phylum name Annelida. Latin mean annulus, little ring. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles which help in locomotion. Aquatic annelids like Nereis possess lateral appendages, parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia, nephridium, help in osmoregulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Nares, an aquatic form, is diaceous, but earthworm and leeches are monoecious. Reproduction is sexual. Example, Nares, ferretima, yani earthworm, and hyrodinaria, blood-sucking leech. Phylum Arthropoda. This is the largest phylum of animalia which include insects. Over two thirds of all named species on earth are arthropods. They have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented, and coelomate animals. The body of arthropod is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. The body consists of head, thorax, abdomen. They have jointed appendages. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type. Sensory organ like antenna, eye, compound or simple statocytes or balancing organ are present. Excretion takes place through malpigian tubules. They are mostly diaceous. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Example, economically important insects are apis honeybee, bombex, silkworm, lacifer, lac insect, vector form, anaphylis, culex, eddies, mosquitoes. Gregarious paste, locusta, locust, living fossils, limulus, king crab, phylum, mollusca. This is the second largest animal phylum. Mollusca are terrestrial, aquatic, marine or freshwater. Having an organ system level of organization, they are bilaterally 
symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animals body is covered by calcareous shell is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular foot and visceral hump a soft and spongy layer of skin form a mantle over the visceral hump the space between the hump and mantle is called the mantle cavity which feature like gills are present they have respiratory and excretory function the anterior head region has sensory tentacles the mouth contain a file like rasping organ for feeding called radula they are usually diaceous and oviparous with indirect development example pila apple snail pinctada sapia laligo octopus aplasia dentalium and kaitopleura phylum echinodermata these animal have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicle and hence the name is echinodermata spiny boiled all are marine with organ system level of organization adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larval are bilaterally asymmetrical bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic and coelomate animals digestive system is complete with mouth on lower ventral side and anus on upper dorsal side the most distinct tip feature of echinoderm is the presence of water vascular system which help in locomotion capture and transport of food and respiration and excretory system is absent sexes are separate reproduction is sexual fertilization is usually external development is indirect with free swimming larva example asterias echinus antidon cucumeria and ophiura phylum hemichordata hemichordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum chordata but now it is placed as a separate phylum under non chordates hemichordate have a rudimentary structure in the collar region called stomo cord a structure similar to notochords this phylum consists of a small group of worm like marine animals with organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animal the body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior pro proboscis a collar and a long trunk circulatory system is of open type respiratory takes place through gills excretory organ is proboscis glands sexes are separate fertilization is external development is indirect example boleno glossus and sacco glossus phylum is chordata animal belonging phylum chordata are fundamentally characterized by presence of notochords a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits these are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate 
विद ऑर्गन सिस्टम लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे पजेस अ पोस्ट एनल टेल एंड अ क्लोज सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम फाइलम कॉर्डेट्स इज डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री सब फाइलम यूरो कॉर्डेटा चुनिकेटा सिफेलो कॉर्डेटा एंड वर्टी ब्रेटा यूरो कॉर्डेटा सिफेलो कॉर्डेटा एंड वर्टी ब्रेटा सब फाइला यूरो कॉर्डेटा एंड सिफेलो कॉर्डेटा आर ऑफन रेफर टू एज प्रोटो कॉर्डेट्स एंड आर एक्सक्लूसिवली मराइन इन क्यूरो कॉर्डेटा नोटोकॉर्ड्स प्रजेंट ऑनली इन लार्वल टेल वाइल इन सिफेलो कॉर्डेटा इट एक्सटेंडेड फ्रॉम हैड टू टेल रीजन इज परसिस्टेंट थ्रू आउट देयर लाइफ एग्जाम्पल यूरो कॉर्डेटा के एस्किडिया सेल्पा डोलियोलम और सिफेलो कॉर्डेटा के ब्रांचियोस्टोमिया ब्रांचियोस्टोमा द मेंबर ऑफ सब फाइलम बर्टी ब्रेटा पजेस नोटोकोड्स ड्यूरिंग द एम्ब्रियोनिक पीरियड द नोटोकोड्स इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द कार्टिलेजनस और बोनी वर्टिब्रल कॉलम इन द एडल्ट दस ऑल बर्टिब्रेट्स आर कॉर्डेड बट ऑल कॉर्डेट्स आर नॉट बर्टी ब्रिट्स डिसाइड्स द बेसिक कॉर्डेट करेक्टर्स बर्टी ब्रिट्स हैव अ वेंट्रल मस्कुलर हार्ट विथ टू थ्री ऑफ फोर चैम्बर्स किडनी फॉर एक्सक्रीशन एंड ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन एंड पेयर्ड अपेंडेज विच मे बी फेंस एंड लिम्स क्लास साइक्लोस्टोमेटा ऑल लिविंग मेंबर्स ऑफ क्लास साइक्लोस्टोमेटा आर एक्टोपेरासाइड्स ऑन सम फेसेस दे हैव एन एलोंगेटेड बॉडी बियरिंग सिक्स टू फिफ्टीन पेयर्स ऑफ गिल्स स्लिट्स फॉर रेस्पायरेशन साइक्लोस्टोमेटा हैव अ सकिंग एंड सर्कुलर माउथ विदाउट जो देयर बॉडी इज डिवॉइड ऑफ स्केल्स एंड पेयर्ड फिंस कैरेनियम एंड बर्टिब्रल कॉलम आर कार्टीजिनस आर मेराइन बट माइग्रेट फॉर स्वैपनिंग टू फ्रेश वाटर आफ्टर स्वैपनिंग विद इन अ फ्यू डेज दे डाई देअ लार्व आफ्टर मेटामोफोसिस return to the ocean example petromyzone and myxin